Right, so we've got the Cheltenham manager, Tom Davis, here to speak about the game ahead this weekend and look back on the game last week. So, welcome, Tom. Uh, we had a good, great win last week against Maidenhead 3 0 at our new home of Kate Lane. How, how important really is it to progress in the Cups, especially this one, the Women's National League Cup, as it's really teams at our level? Yeah, it's important. Um, you know, we we sat us all out that we wanted to we wanted to win that game. I mean, like we do every game, but it's important that we got that win first as as this group's kind of under the belt. And yeah, it was a, an opportunity for us to work on and, and bring out some of the themes that we've been we've been working on in training into competitive match play. And and for us, you know, as a club, we're still striving for success and history. And it puts in an opportunity now where you know we're one one game away from creating history for this club in, in this competition, um, having kind of only ever been in the cup once before. Um, we've always kind of ended up in the plate for, for one reason or another. So from that side of things, it's, it's nice. Um, but from a team point of view, it's just important to to get more minutes, um, to get players kind of connecting, building those connections and, and yeah, just um, get ourselves a couple of goals, clean sheet and, and in a positive mindset ready for, for this week. Yeah, and um, staying with the game, actually, obviously, three first-half goals. Um, nice in a way to sort of, I know it's not always wrapped up, but you never know what the, your opposition's going to do. But nice to have the game wrapped up by half-time and able to make some changes as well in the second half. Yeah, once that is wrapped up, I think we, we put ourselves in a really good really good position mm-hmm. um, and, and we scored those those kind of goals at, at really good times. And it, it meant that we could kind of, you know, be kind of or feel like we we're in control of the game and in control of proceedings. And, and it was always going to be a difficult task. It's a difficult task for anybody uh, if you're three goals behind. Um, so we knew that. And, and yeah, we were able to kind of make sure that um, as the game sort of progressed in, in the latter stages, make changes and, and and kind of have a look at a couple of different things, knowing that, um, you know, we were in such a strong position. But it's credit to credit to the team and in, in how they prepared in in the warm up and obviously in training the week previous to to kick on and, and really start well. Um something that we were keen to do. Um and and yeah, just obviously really happy that we were able to do that and, and put ourselves in in that position come half time and ultimately come the end of the game. Yeah, lastly on um Maidenhead, of course two reserves made their way onto the bench in Unalu and Libby Hyatt Ucken. So how how important is it for them and obviously for you as a manager, good to see the development from those two as well. Yeah, it's something that um, we discussed in the off-season about how we wanted to develop the club and, and what's needed at this football club. And ultimately, you know, having a reserve team and a development team is is important for us in, in building a culture and a community um, here in Cheltenham. And, you know, it's something that we didn't potentially see um, proving fruition so early on. Um, you know, obviously the reserve team takes time and, and it's a young group and, and they're going to take time to to mould and to build and, and to get doing everything that we want them to be doing and, and for them to progress in a in a safe environment. But um the opportunity was there for them. Um and and both have come on and, and taken that. And for me, you know, irrespective of the two that it was, um mm. it's nice that the opportunity has been presented. And the reserve team players now, you know, are all in a, a mindset that they know that there are going to be opportunities, you know, now and again. Um, and there are going to be opportunities for them to come into the first team and, and hopefully get minutes and potentially in the future look to progress and, and be first team you know, regulars in terms of the squad and, and in terms of playing. Um, and that's what the pathway is there. We want to make sure that the players are able to progress and, and we're going to give them the opportunity when we feel that they're ready. Yeah, definitely. So on to this Sunday, we're back in league action against London Bees. Uh, last season, uh, obviously our first season back in at this level, uh, at this level, sorry, um, a, lot, a loss away from home. It was four two back in October of last year, and of course they uh, we beat them. No, oh, sorry, the other way around actually. We beat them four uh, two last time around, and um, they beat us one nil at at the complete Suzuki Stadium actually. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is quite a tough t- team to play against. Give us a good game, both games. Yeah, Phil. Um, the away game was interesting. I don't think we, we were particularly brilliant um, the first half. I think we were quite fortuitous to to be in front at half time. Um, I don't. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a great game from us. We didn't apply potentially some of the things that we needed to. Um, and like I said, we got a little bit fortunate. But second half, we really kind of pushed down and, and worked really hard and put ourselves, I think, four 0 up at the time, um, and and put ourselves in a fantastic position. Um, a couple of late goals and, and to be fair a couple of outstanding finishes but 
we knew that we were in a position that we could afford that. And, and yeah, it was a good win. Um, and we were really happy with that result. Um, the game at home was, was difficult. Um, you know, the occasion was there and it, it was set up. And, and ultimately, we were just on that wrong side of that fairy tale, um, you know, with that last minute winner. But something that doesn't really play much of a part um, due to the kind of amount of changes in, in both teams, really, um, you know, from their, their group and our group. Um, for me, it's just more of a case of um, it holds tight with me and it's something that I want to put right, um, something that we want to put right for the fans, for the club. And we want to make sure that ultimately, you know, the the priority is putting three points on the board and, and kick-starting the season, um, regardless whether that's, you know, London Bees or anybody else. Yeah, so obviously looking back on the first day of the season for both clubs, of course, London lost to rugby uh, 3-0 and we obviously lost 5-0 away at Portsmouth. Uh, both teams obviously looking for their first win, especially ultimately for us, looking to move on from that game a fortnight ago. Uh, it will surely make for a lively game on Sunday. Yeah, I hope so. Um, <laughs> I think, you know, obviously both sides are, are going to be competing, um, you know, and it, it, it's a game that both uh, are rightly going to identify that they can, they can go and win. I think on the day, either team have got the potential to do that. I think that's the case in, in every every game in this in this division, but more so this weekend. And from our point of view, it's, it's yeah, you bang on. We want to make sure that we're starting in the right way. We want to make sure that we start our league campaign at home in the right way. Um, and we want to make sure that as a group, you know, we're, we're, we're pushing on. You know, the game of fortnight ago was a disappointing one, I think, just in terms of our performance. Um, not necessarily the result, but the performance was, was, wasn't was great. Um, and we were architects of our own downfall at times. Um, we created a lot of the chances for them. Um, you know, giving ball away, stopping possession. So something that we've really worked hard on the Maidenhead game was was part of that. But ultimately, we, you know, we've got to prove ourselves in league action. Um, and we've got three games in seven days that are going to test us, um, test us in different ways, different styles. But um, we're going to kick off on Sunday and, and we're going to start as aggressively as possible. Um, we're going to move the ball. We're going to, you know, try and press and, and do the right things. And and hopefully, you know, that all those things connect and, and we come out with positive performance and a positive result. Yeah, and just finally, uh, you alluded it to it to it there. Um, obviously, the first game out on New Home uh, last week of Kate Lane, and this is like the second of a triple header, if you like, of uh, home games in a row. How did you find the home crowd last week? Yeah, it was nice. Um, it was nice, kind of having different people there. I think that's the mm. the first thing is that you know there was new people, and and because of the way that it set out, I think everyone was able to kind of walk around and connect with different people, and it, it felt kind of like a real kind of home environment it felt like a really nice culture and and you know we're aware that um you know schools are, are back in you know next week week after and and kind of people are, are coming back on holidays and, and those kind of things and we're we're hopeful that you know that that everyone's going to start coming to to more games and 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 actually we can start building on that and building on that that group and the plan is that we want to make this a home for for a long period of time and we want to have as many people there as possible and you know, that's going to help support the players and that's going to help us get more results, which, you know, it, it, it goes around in circles, you know. So the more fans we have, the better. Um, you know, we know we've got mascots this weekend and it's it's all those things that they are actually important um, and building the culture and the vibe. And, and equally, you know, having three teams playing this week um, is a huge thing for a club and it's showing that a club's building and, and we're progressing um, and hopefully the support backs that and, and continues to do that and, yeah, it was a really nice experience last week and, and we're hopeful that with more people through the door this weekend that, that yeah, that can kick us on to, to go and get our first three points of the season. Nice stuff, Tom. Nice one. Uh, best of luck for the weekend. Thanks, man.